Hello my friends, my name is DadCraft73 and welcome to a brand new uh, mod of Minecraft series on the old DadCraft73 channel. Man, it feels like it's been forever since we've been playing some modded. Check out my hat. <laughs> oh man, we're playing the Brass Mod Pack. One of, uh, somebody tweeted me and was like, hey, you should check this out. I was gonna do a one man, one man, one man, one mod, season 14. A lot of you might remember that series. Um, it's been a while since we've done one. I was gonna do a new season of that, but I was having some mod pack performance issues. I am pretty sure it was on my end, but I couldn't get it to run. So instead, we're firing up brass. And I don't know a whole lot about it, but let me just take care of We're gonna get in here and start playing in just a second. We don't have a lot of time, but I do wanna take care of some business. So first of all, this same world, the same uh, mod pack is going to get loaded on my patron server today. And the world that's currently on there is going to get reset. We have three patron servers. We have a Bedrock. We have a Java Minecraft world that's been around for about a year. And then we're going to have a brand new Brass mod pack modded patron server. Anyone who is a patron at the $5 tier or above, there's no extra tiers above that. $5 uh, or more a month gets you access to one or all three of those servers if you want to play on them. There's a great community on all those servers. People are having a good time playing. Um, so that's that. Also, all those patron servers are run on Bisect Hosting, um, who I'm a partner with. And there's a link in the description box down below if you want to get um, a Bisect uh, Hosting server to do all of your Minecraft stuff. That includes the Bedrock servers also on Bisect. Okay, is that enough business? <laughs> oh, the link for the Patreon is down below. Um, obviously, you can go find this pack to download on your own if you want to as well. So anyway, all right, I think that's good. I think we've done all the business. Um, now listen, I don't know anything about this pack. I will be the first to tell you. I did get a bunch of stuff. I got a sleeping bag, which is kind of cool. A paper cartridge. I have a archaeologist hat. Rare drop from, oh man, I'm looking pretty sweet. <laughs> I have a musket. Oh, I guess that's okay. I have a sweet berry cookie. I have apple. I have cooked pork chops. I have um, a cashew tone. What is this thing? Uh, oh, okay, okay. And then I have brass. We're going to look at that in just a second, but I think we should... Hey, can I guess I can sleep through the night? Maybe in this sleeping bag? Let's see if we have... Um, let's see if we can figure out what... Uh, mods we might have in this pack. Let's get our fists out. Um, so first of all, we have uh, information about what we're breaking up in the left-hand corner. I don't. Is that maybe one probe? I would guess. And we've got a map add-on, which is actually pretty handy. It tells us which way we're pointing. I love that. Okay. Um, oh yeah, fast leaf decay is in here. Uh, I got. I don't know what the option is for the map. Let's take a look at controls. Hmm. <laughs> Any map controls? Uh, should be. Oh, toggle full, sc full screen map. Let's do that. Okay, done. Done. Back to game. Let's see. There we go. There's our full screen map. All right. Doesn't look like a whole lot. Let's grab these saplings. All right. Um, so I think this is like a progression based mod pack. Let's take a look here at our book. Welcome to Brass. Progress from the Stone Age all the way to the Atomic Age in this guided progression pack. You'll start by gathering sticks and flint and end with mastery over the atomic element themselves. Don't forget to have some adventure on the way. Enjoy Brass. Okay. So through the ages, the Stone Age... So this is kind of like a quest pack. So the adventure begins for Dadcraft 73. All you have is a handful of supplies you managed to take with you, but from where? That besi That's beside the point. Now you're here, so get to it. To leave the Stone Age, you'll first need to find sticks, string, and flint. Sticks can be crafted from saplings, while string and flint can be gathered in the usual way. You'll then want to craft a crude hatchet and pickaxe. Okay, okay. So uh, flint, gonna find some gravel, I guess. And string. There's a stick. Okay, that's a good one. All right, where's my? Okay, do I have like quests or something? Okay. Um, I feel like I'm missing more. Where are the? Do I actually have quests? I get string, you can break leaves, grass, and then plant flowers. Ah, okay, 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 okay. All right, let's see what happens here. So, 
we'll do a little bit of breaking. Can we make a what? Let's see. Can we make a crafting bench? Let's see if we can actually do it. No. Okay, that's a chopping block. All right, we've been down this path before. Oh man, this isn't our favorite, but we'll get we'll get it figured out. <laughs> let's see if we can't get some plant fibers. That looks like some plant fibers. That's some hemp right there. Yeah, that means we've got. Uh, industrial or no immersive engineering in this pack which makes us pretty happy let's see what's going on here uh this also tells me fertile season spring summer yeah oh there's a, a chicken brown chicken that doesn't make me super happy the old uh okay what can we do with this okay four of those allows us to make a string okay all right and then we need a little bit of gravel i believe and then we can get a piece of flint. So let's go over here by the river, maybe, and we can get some flint. So this is a 1.16.5 mod pack. So it's the latest version, which makes me super happy. That does mean that we might get some additions or updates on a regular basis on this pack, just because um, as mods come available or changes get made. Maybe right here we can find. Um, so, oh, okay. Was that the flint? Okay. All right. So now, what does it say to do? Uh, no, here. This through the ages. Stone Age first. Okay. Uh, once you have that, you can craft a chopping block. With a chopping block, you can chop logs into plank. Oh, okay. All right, so how do I make... Is it just like all of these together in the crafting thing, maybe? Ah, okay, crude hatchet. Okay. Then I can take a log and I can do this putting the chop in Minecraft. What is that? Uh, okay, yeah. I love the fact that this has custom achievements. That's really cool. Alright, and then we can do this. Alright, we know all about this this game. Okay, is it left click? Okay, alright, that's easy. We could probably put these in our offhand if we wanted to. Okay, so that gives us some planks. Now can we craft a crafting bench with that? No. Okay. We can do a pressure plate. Okay. Let's get this picked up. Now, we've got to find a spot for a base. You know the deal that we have to do in day one of a new mod pack? I want to spend a little bit of time. Uh, no. I'm going to go here. I feel like we're missing... Uh, once you have that, you can... Which you can use with coal to make a campfire. And then with sticks, okay. You can also chop tin and copper ore into dust, which can be mixed into bronze and smelted on the campfire. You can also chop tin and copper ore into dust. Okay, so is this like something we just have to do? All right, so can I make a campfire? Let's see if we can figure this out. Campfire, <laughs> all right, let's see. Campfire, that's a piece of coal. We don't have any of that, okay. That's the only campfire that we have. There's this one. This is log sticks and a piece of soul. Okay, that's not going to get the job done. That's a log. Okay, how am I going to get coal, though? Are we going to have to see if we can go find some? Okay, let's see what we can search around for. Um, I want to go up here. I don't know where we're going to make our base. I don't want to be in a bunch of crazy biomes or anything like that. I'd rather be in a place like... Maybe like even extreme hills. This or oh, there looks like there's big stuff on the other side of this mountain. Let's go up here and see what we can find. And figure this out. Why do I feel like I'm missing something with that quest book? <laughs> oh man. Oh, I hate it when I mess up stuff on the old quest book because you guys are all like, "Hey, you day guy, this is what you do." If you would take two seconds to read. Maybe I do need to go back and read. Where do we want to make our base? Oh, there's a. Is that a beehive? That appears to maybe be a beehive. Let's not get ourselves killed or anything by going over here. What is that? That's a resource, re resourceful bees nest. Let's just. Uh, do we want to take it with us? I don't know. I guess so. Okay. Not sure exactly what that's for, but maybe we'll figure it out down the road. I want to go over here. Oh, there's a there's a little mine shaft thing. Okay. That's actually really cool. Maybe we could go over here to this like hill area. Wow, we are in the mix of a some crazy landscape, that's for sure. So I used realistic 
uh, biome generation, not biomes of plenty. I personally am not a huge fan of biomes of plenty. I know a lot of people are. Um, the patron server will not have biomes of plenty on it either. Um, there's there's also an issue that biomes of plenty gives us um, some lag, and we try to keep everything as um, lag free as we possibly can on our patron servers. So we'll be running with probably this realistic um, generation, which is I think okay. Okay. Well. Is this like some kind of crazy dungeon thing? All right, I don't really want to go in there. I have no idea what this place even is, but can I sleep in my sleeping bag? Let me see. Yeah. I love the fact that we get this right at the beginning. That makes things so much better. Okay. All right, where are we going? Oh, there's all kinds of cool caves. I want to go over here. I think we should probably keep this near us, maybe. Maybe there's something cool that we can come back in and get from there. So one of the mods that's in this mod pack that was really the deal uh, clencher, I guess, it was the thing that really wanted me to make, wanted me to play it, was create. I really want to mess around with create and see if we can figure out how to um, use that to the fullest. Okay, um, I kind of like the idea of maybe making our base up on this hill. We've sort of got that dungeon area back over there, but if we make our base sort of up here on this hill, let's go look and see what this overlooks. And maybe this could be our spot right here. Oh, okay. Hmm, let's just take a little trip down here. All right, let's eat something. we got to get some food squared away pretty soon. There's something green over there. We should go look at that, maybe. What is that? That's a oh, that's a bee. That's like a coal, that's a coal bee. Hello, coal bee. Oh, man. That's pretty cool. All right, what is this? This is uh, bauxite. This is aluminum. I don't think we can chop that. What's this? Uh, copper? Okay. And what is this? Coal. Okay. And then what is this over here? We have to eat something, like, right now. This is another resourceful beat. Oh! That must... Oh! Okay. <laughs> I just picked... I just understand what it's talking about. Res resourceful bees. Okay, there we go. So these are bees that can give us stuff. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right, now what do we need to do, I think? Oh, there's a swamp. Okay, I think to absolutely we're going to make our base up here on this little hill. I like the fact that we're sort of raised up a little bit. I like the fact that we've sort of got this natural, like, protection. And maybe we could build, like, something cool up here on this hill. I kind of love this. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, this is where our base is going to be. Now, all we have to do is figure out what to do as far as our quest. There's some cows. Hello, cows. How are you? Just a cow. Why is he all flicking around on my screen? Are these all? I guess these are the different kinds. Okay, there's some food. All right, I think we're going to build up here. All right, let's see. Can I just chop a tree down? Do I have vein miner? Let's first of all, like, take a look at that and see if we have any sort of... Uh, do we have excavation uh, or anything? Or vein? No. Okay. We'll just have to chop stuff down normally. I know it's a rough life that we live. Now, as we progress through this mod pack, I will start making... There'll be lots of, like, jump cuts and stuff like that. Usually, first episode, I like to play and record, like, in real time. So you sort of... You guys sort of have the same experience that I'm having, or at least, a, you know, we go through the same experience together that uh, I'm having in the world. So there's no, like, big jump cuts. I know that makes it sometimes a little bit boring, but that's just kind of the way we're going to do it. And then I think moving forward, we can do lots of cool jump cuts and stuff like that. One of my big things when I play mod packs is I've never been a fan of the whole... Hmm, I just, you know, I've spent five hours crafting a bunch of stuff off camera and it's all done. And then, you know, bang, it's all taken care of. I like to do lots of our stuff on camera. That's just kind of the way I've always been playing these mod packs. And uh, that's the way we're going to keep it going, I think. Hopefully that's okay with you guys. I mean, as we get further along, there are going to be times where we're going to have to grind and we're going to have to take care of whatever. Okay, let's see. Do I have enough for another piece of string? I need to see if I can... i got to find some flint. Oh, what is this? Andesite rock. I don't know where that came from. Did that come from, like, chopping these trees? Can I make some kind of pickaxe? Pick. Pickaxe. Crude pickaxe. Yes, I can. Okay, so I'm going to need that. I'm going to need a little bit more flint, it looks like. There, right there, is some coal ore I need to get. So let's see if we can't find a little bit of gravel. 
we could find some gravel, that would be amazing. There's probably some down at the swamp. Hmm. Okay. I gotta figure out how to make a waypoint, because we want to make a waypoint for our our little area here. I think maybe, I think maybe, now that I've just looked around here just a tad, I think I'm going to come down just a little bit. Like, maybe just down. I don't want to be up there. I don't want the snow. So, like, these trees don't have any snow on them. I think I want to be below the snow layer. So I think we're going to make our base maybe over here, right here on this edge, overlooking the swamp. Does that sound good? I think it does. <laughs> All right, now, we got to go down and get ourselves a little bit of flint. We have enough, almost enough to make a piece of string. There's some sugar cane down there as well. Okay, let's see. Is there some gravel around here? Let's grab this sugar cane real quick. More hemp seeds. Got a piece, find a piece of fiber. Um, there just didn't seem to be very much gravel. Ah, over there's some. Perfect. That's what we need. Alright. Is this the game? Okay, does it matter? I don't think. Alright, we're gonna have to get some more flint. Oh no. Okay, there was at least a piece of flint. And we're getting some of these rocks too. It's kind of cool. Stone rock. Oh, that's that was something. What is that? Gold ore rock? Okay. Okay, so this is good, right? We have sticks. We just need one more piece of grass, and then we can get a pickaxe. We can go up there and get all the pieces parts that we need. Is that what we needed? Yes, yeah, so let's go like that. There's that. Now we can go like that, this, and this, and get ourselves a crude pickaxe, which is good. Putting the mine in Minecraft. <laughs> wow, look at that blue bee. Oh my goodness, I love these bees already. I think I might be addicted to them. And we've only been playing. You know that I'm a big fan of the bees. And those look like Minecraft bees. Not like, they're actually like flying around. Man, are we going to have to make like huge beehives and stuff like that? Oh, I'm 100% down. Oh man, it's going to be amazing. Alright, how do I get out of here? I need to get back up, up to the top. It's my base up there. Obviously, we're going to have to fix this issue sooner than later. So we can climb around. Please, please jump. There we go. What's that? Wild carrots. Snag that up. What's this? More wild carrots. More wild carrots. Let's grab all those. Get up here. Okay. Yeah. Lots of cool stuff. All right, what is this? This is coal ore. All right, let's get our thing. Okay, we can absolutely break coal ore with our new little pick. Is this some more? Yeah. Okay. And then we can make a campfire. From what I can tell. Alright, let's do that. Do we have all the pieces parts? I think so. Let's see if we can make a campfire. Okay. Alright, and then we can take, I guess, the campfire? We can cook stuff on it? Is that how this works? Okay. Where did we say we are going to make our base? Like over here? Yep. There's a bee right there. Do I zoom? No. Okay. That just looks like a regular Minecraft bee. What's up, guy? Ow! Okay, I just burnt myself immediately. What does this say? Let's see. Place a campfire. Okay. All right. Let's go get some of these. Now, let's take a look at our book real quick, this guy. Um, you can make copper, tin, and copper ore into dusts. Okay. No, this is coal. That's not kit. So, what is this? This is copper. I don't know if this is... What does it say? Make sure we're reading this right. To leave the stone age, you'll first need to find sticks, string, and flint. So this can be crafted from a sapling. Okay. Then we have to do all this stuff right here, right? So we got to find tin. Okay. Um, which you can you can also chop. Okay, so we need to... All right, so I think I know what we have to do. We have to take this. So we'll get copper. Okay. And then this is aluminum. Bauxite is aluminum. Okay, so we don't need that. But we do need... This is more copper. We need some tin. Is this tin? Oh, it's just different colors of copper. Oh, that's kind of cool. It's like partially oxidized. Oh, man, I'm down 100%. <laughs> oh, man, I'm 100% down. I love that. 
All right, where do we get tin, though? Some more copper. So lots of copper here. I thought that was a hole that we were about ready to fall into. Let's go grab some of these surface resources. We're going to need all of this stuff. Oh, man, I'm so excited. I can't wait to get into the atomic age. We're going to be taking care of business, that's for sure. All right, let's see if the if the thing will tell us uh, tin ore. Is there a tin ore? Yes. Tin ore doesn't really tell us where it's at. Shift, shift N. It just says it's found slightly less than copper. Do we maybe actually have to do a little bit of mining? Maybe. And I guess we could start up some kind of mine. We don't really have any torches. Can we make some torches? Does does this part of the game work? Okay, that works. Okay. Can I make sticks like this, maybe? I can. Okay. So these these parts of the game are the are normal. That makes me happy. Sometimes I don't like it when all the recipes get changed. It makes me a little crazy. Alright, we can go down here though. It's copper, and we can get our axe. Fish are always a good source of food in the early game. A little bit, little tiny. Oh, there's a, maybe a little cave there. Let's go and take that look at that. Thank you, fish. Okay, this is. A, oh, this is where we were at earlier. Is it getting winter time? I think it is. Okay, it's night time as well. Let's sleep through the night. All right, we're going to have to get a little bit of mine going. I don't know if we have... I don't think we've got any of that crazy stuff like... um, What is that stuff called where... <laughs> I hope not. Oh, man, I'm going to be hating it. Uh, get this out of the way. Okay. What is that, um, that mod that sometimes you... Let me put this in my offhand. That you get that makes it so you get like the temperature one I don't think that has it in I hope not at least all right let's just get a little bit of a mine going usually if I remember correctly I mean hopefully tin won't be down too low I don't know, we don't have to do too much mine in here but we are gonna have to do a little bit we have a little bit more flint as well we could make another can I just right click torches yeah okay we just gotta get we're gonna try to get out of the Stone Age in today's episode if we can possibly do that. That would be the key. Okay, there's more coal. Grab that. Let's not take it all. We can come back down here to the mine. Put another torch up. I don't need to switch things. Oh, it's, look, we got the echo thing going on. That's pretty cool. Man, I know. I always the. It's been a long time since I like the last mod pack that we had on our Patreon server. I didn't play. It was just uh, the patrons. We needed something to put up there for them because you know they really didn't have anything to play at the moment. So we did that. A cave would be really good if we could find a cave. So we didn't have anything, and I didn't play it. So this time I'm actually playing this mod pack, which makes me pretty excited. We can kind of figure some stuff out together. You guys can help. We can kind of play along. Uh, most of the people on the Patreon server will go crazy and they'll play for like 100 hours on day one. <laughs> That's just the way it works. But not everybody. Some people will take it slow and steady based on how much time they've got and stuff like that. All right, how, how low are we? We are at my level 40. I feel like I don't want to go down too low. I'm going to break this pick. All right, I think we need to take a second before we get too crazy and let us go get... we got to figure something. we got to find a spot to put some of this stuff in that we have. Let's get, if we can, some more flint. If we can get one more piece of flint, at least, that'll give us four, and then we have to go get a bunch of plant fibers. Did I just see? Oh, look, that's a tin bee. love that. I'm so excited. This is going to be so much fun to get the bees fired up. Resourceful bees. I've never played with them before. If you have, make sure you leave a comment in the comment section down below and let me know what the story is there. Okay, there's another piece of flint. Now, we just have to go find more plant fibers. There's a bunch of fish over there. We really need to get back up to our campfire soon. Look, there's tons of grass there. Okay. Um, we do not have any empty space. Let's put um, this 
Um, what to do with that stuff? Uh, I don't know what to get rid of. Nothing really. Um, let's get rid of these rocks. Let's get rid of those for now. Okay. Hello, regular bee. Any mob pack that we can mess around with bees in, you know I'm 100% down. I'm like 150% down. <laughs> oh man, it's going to be amazing. Let's not get too far out of the way here. Let's just see if we can get a couple more plant fibers. We have, oh, we have eight. Okay, that's all we need. Okay. Perfect. Let's head back over to our mine. We're getting so much hemp seed. Oh, that's that stuff I threw away. Okay. Wow, it's getting winter time. It must be winter time because the water's starting to freeze. You see that? Oh man, that's cold. I love it. All right, we're also getting a little short on the food sources a little bit here. Okay. Apple. Okay, let's keep mining. I think, I feel like we sort of should do like a branch mine here, maybe? At this Y level? I mean, we don't have to go all the way down to diamond level. Wow, there's a cave right there. That's maybe something that we need. I did hear, uh, that's iron. What is this? Please be tin. Yes. All right, I think we're going to get out of the Stone Age pretty quickly, I believe. I want to go like this, maybe. There's lots of resources in here. We should gather them. Where does this go? Is this a dead end? No, it's not a dead end. What's that? Lead ore? Wait, we need all that stuff. There's silver. There's all kinds of stuff over there. Let's just block this off. And we'll put a torch down. Yeah, let's do this. Let's light this there. Just so we can mine here. Like, we can come back to here. Can I get iron ore? I can. Okay. Those are all good things that I think we need. Yep. Yeah. Oh, there went my pick. That's okay, because we planned on that. So we could go like this and make string. And then we can go... We can actually just do... Like... Uh, we need some things. Okay. We can go like that and like that. We should be able to make two of those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Perfect. All right, now, I want to get... Let me just gather up all the resources here. Just We'll just spend a few seconds. Not too much time. A little bit of this iron we'll get... We might need it for something. I mean, I'm sure we will as we advance. But if we could get out of the Stone Age, that would be pretty huge. This should be pretty easy, I think, to get out of this first level. And here's a little bit more aluminum, bauxite. Okay, we'll put a, a block uh, right there just to be safe. Okay. I don't think I need lead, but we know where it's at if we do. All right, how do we get out of here now? Uh, no. Here? Okay. Perfect. All right, let's head on up. We need to make sure it's nighttime or daytime. Let's get our sleeping bag ready. We'll be able to use that campfire that we have to cook some fish, which is going to be pretty handy. I also see a lava spawn somewhere. We could probably find that stuff down in the caves, though. Whoa. Okay, let's head on back up. <laughs> oh, man, I love New Worlds. There's our campfire. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so now let's see what, how this thing works. So if we take this guy and put this down on the ground, that's the campfire sound. Don't be scared. And we're going to take some copper ore and use this guy. Right, a cute hat, cute hat, crude hatchet. Put that down. Do we get dust? I don't, I don't think that's what's supposed to happen there. All right, let's read our book again. With a chopping block, you can chop logs into planks and then sticks, which you can use with the coal to make a campfire. You can also chop tin and copper ore into dust. Okay, that's what we did, right? 
All right, let's see what happens if we just do it this way. We have enough that we can spare a little bit, I guess. We just have to be a little careful. Can I please get some dust out of this? Okay. I feel like it needs to be here, then. Okay. Dust. No. Uh, copper. Copper dust. No, not grit. Dust. Mechanism. Okay, so well, we definitely have mechanism in this pack. All right. So it says chopping block. Okay. So it does what, this is what it says to do. We got a bunch of them on there? Oh, okay. Maybe we just have to put, like, a lot. Like, not everyone gives us dust? That seems rippy. <laughs> oh, man. I feel like we're getting robbed here. Okay. All right. Let's get some of this. I mean, we better get some tin ore. Okay, what do we have to do with this stuff now? Which can be mixed into bronze. And Okay, so let me see. So if I take this... Bronze. I need three copper and one tin. Okay, so we got to go keep going a little bit more. Oh my goodness. Okay. I hope there's some. Okay. There's three of those. Now let's do. Let's um, sleep through our night. Where's our sleeping bag? Let's sleep through the night real quick. We do not want anything bad because we are playing on hard mode. I don't really know what that means. Um, as far as the mod pack is concerned, but, you know, okay. All right, and then let's get our tin fired up here. Okay, can I just... Please, can I have... Can I have at least one? Okay, we did get it. Okay, oh my goodness, that was scary. Okay, <laughs> there we go. Bronze. Okay, and then what do we do? Can we just lay this on here? Okay, what's it doing? smelt it on the campfire. Okay. Oh. What is it? Ow! Ow! Don't burn yourself, dummy. Alright, it feels like something's happening here. I don't know. Alright, what does it say? Uh, Mexico. Okay, yeah, we did that. I mean, obviously, we got the achievement. Does this take, like, forever, maybe? Oh, 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 we did it! Okay, we did it! Okay, new chapters unlocked. So we made it through the... Oh, yeah, man! All right, can we, like, cook some of this fish on here, too? <laughs> I'm, I'm hungry. Yeah, look at that. We got a fresh... Okay, so that that was cool. Let's see. So, smelt bronze. Okay, so now we should have more stuff to for us, right? The Stone Age. Oh, okay. All right. Oh, what does it say? The Stone Age. Okay, yeah, we did that. All right, so now we unlock the bronze. Now you have bronze. No more caveman days for you. You have a to embrace civilization. Right? There's no turning back now. Okay, and then we have. Okay, so this is just tells us what we have to do to get through each of these ages. Okay. You can make a crafting table and a furnace, which really opens things up. For one, you can craft some storage drawers to hold your stuff. You can make lovely bronze tools now, as well as a tool belt to hold them. A stove and a cook pot will open up. Okay, yeah. Once you okay, so we're gonna have to spend. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> oh man, let's get all this fish. 
I love it. Uh, where's the rest of it? Did we get all four? Yeah. Let's put a couple more down. We'll just keep cooking them if we can. Put those down. What else do we have to cook? Nothing? Okay. All right. Well, listen, I think that's a good first episode. We made it through the Bronze Age in brass. We got a super cool hat. We got a musket. <laughs> oh, yeah, man. Get yourself shot. We got some rudimentary tools. We're going to be able to go and gather a bunch more resources, which I'll probably work on between the episodes. Do a whole bunch of grinding, get a whole bunch of cool resources, and then we're going to come back next time and start grinding through the Bronze Age. Man, we're professionals at this game already. It's a little bit slow going. What's on my back? Oh, it's a pick back there. All right, that's on a roll, I guess. Yeah. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it so much. If you haven't subscribed yet, please hit the subscribe button. We got all kinds of cool stu stuff coming out in the month of February for you guys to watch. Man, make sure you follow me on all the things. And until next time, please remember to be cool. Don't be a fool. And from my brass 1.16.5 mod pack let's play series... I'm going to get some fish, and I'll see you later. Bye, everybody.